Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Liz. I'm back again with another unboxing of a um, tarot deck. Now, the lighting's gonna be a little weird. I bought a ring light a while back. I've only used it once. I went to use it today because it's getting dark right now. And the thing broke, the uh, base of it broke. So I have it over here to the side. It's a little wonky, but I'm hoping I can get this video done. Um, because I kind of want to play with these cards. Anyway, um, this one is the Lost Tarot of Nostradamus by John Matthews and uh, Will King Kingen. And uh, it says in the back, Michael de Nostradamus, 16th century French apothecary and seer, is best known worldwide for his visionary insights and collections of prophetic writings. First published in 1555, the prophecies... Uh, has rarely been out of print since his death and has attracted a following that credits him with predicting many major world events, including the rise of Hitler, the assassination of Kennedy 9-11, and most recently the Japanese earthquake and tsunami. Less known is that in 1994, the Italian National Library in Rome, a manuscript believed to be Michele di Nostradam, um, I'm sorry, be by Michele de Nostradam was discovered along with 80 mysterious paintings drawing heavily on the symbolism of the tarot. With great excitement, John Matthews and Will Kingham realized the implication of his work and after much research, now bring it to fruition in the lost tarot of Nostradam. With fresh translations of the original quatrains by Caitlin Matthews, the astounding power of the prophecies is mar uh, married to the predictive imagery of the tarot for the first time. This is, without question, the ultimate oracle for the primary protag pro 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 uh, prognosticator and probably one of the most important decks of our age. Okay, so this deck, I got it, I think, for $10 on, on um, Amazon. It was very inexpensive. Oh, I'm hoping you guys can see that. Um... Let's see if I can play with the light a little bit. I wish I could put it up here. Maybe if I can like kind of hold it over the phone. Mm, no, that's not going to work. Uh, wait. That's a shame. That's too, too bad. Hang on, you guys. Hang on. Let's see. i got to stick it back where I had it. I have it propped up against something. Uh, anyway, a friend of mine online had just gotten this, and he did a reading with it. Plus, he did like a little bit of a um, uh, unboxing review of it. It's it's different. It's different. This one, I think, it's gonna be one more for my collection than for my um, reading. But I don't know. It's very medieval. The imagery. There's a lot of church imagery. Because, you know, in that at that time, um, especially in Italy, Macal de Nostradam is Italian? Oh, French, sorry. <laughs> French. I knew I was getting something wrong there. Uh, of course, the Catholic Church was in at its full power, so um, it, does, it makes sense that a lot of it would have been um, religious in nature, these pictures. Okay, this is by Tuttle Publishing as well. Never heard of that publishing house, which really doesn't mean anything. Um, it's a nice, sturdy box. I mean, honestly, for $10, it's a steal. Let's see. And you can get it, I believe, on Walmart as well for $10. Those are the only two places I've seen it. But that doesn't mean you can't find it somewhere else. Oh, for goodness sake. All right, there we go. So it's just a regular box, nothing, nothing to write home about. Um, okay, so it, they come in two separate piles. And that's how they're stored. This is plastic, which is nice because they don't they don't break as easily. Eventually, they get dried out and break, but that's a long time in coming. So this is the book, and let's see. Um, it's got interpretations. Um, of course, it's got interpretations and it's got the upright meaning, the reverse, and it has a couplet, um, which is a, part of, a couple of verses, I guess, from the quatrains. I'm thinking that's what it is. Um, oh, it does it in 
French, as you can see it, does it in French and in English. So, that match. All right. Let's get to go. Let's get started with unboxing this. Okay. So, another thing with this is the kings and queens. They're not kings and queens and pages and knights. They're just numbered from t uh, 11 to 14. Um, it looks like they're not in order, you guys. If they are in order, I can't tell unless they're backwards order. That happens sometimes. Let me see. Let me see. Well, it's what it is. So, we will start with, okay, so that's the back, which is really kind of neat. I like it. It's got that old world. Feel. It's kind of a gold, and you can see it. There's some shine there from the light, so it does have a little bit of gold. It's shining more than it really does in real life. I mean, I don't see it shining that much, but I can see it in the camera, but it's shining a good deal. So anyway, okay, so that's the fool. Now, I figured doing this would be kind of neat because this is such a de I've I never even heard of this deck. Not that I've heard of them all, but I, I never, ever, ever heard of this deck at all. Um, so I'm guessing a lot of people probably haven't even seen this deck. Um, now, John Matthews, I have at least one or two of his things. I think I just did a review on one of his decks. Was it? Which one was it? Yeah, look back here. I think it was the shaman shaman deck that I did. All right, so all right, I'll do it like that. Then it'll be in order. The magician. The papist. So instead of the uh, what is that? The emperor? No, not the empress. The high priestess. I'm sorry. Instead of the high priestess, you get the pa the papist. Papus, Papus, female Pope, the Empress. So this goes to the medieval um, times, especially in Christian Europe. You're going to have a lot of that terminology. Emperor, the Hierophant. Now that one should just be the Pope. But what do I know? The lovers. So these pictures were all done by Nostradamus. At least that's what the box says. The chariot. That's a different one. I've never seen a chariot that looks like that. Justice. That looks like St. Anthony to me. Or St. Francis. Either one. The hermit. So you're going to see a lot of priests and um, brothers, nuns probably, cardinals. Um, Fortune's Wheel, which would be the Wheel of Fortune. I mean, the artwork's pretty neat. The artwork is pretty neat. I, I absolutely love the back. The back is fantastic. Fortitude. So what would Fortitude be? That's number 11. Uh, hmm. You know what? I really don't know right now. I'm not, I don't remember all the numbers. Fortitude. I know 13 is the devil. Hmm. I don't know. The hanged man. That doesn't look at all like the hanged man. I, the, the, the artwork does not, in my opinion, it's a beautiful deck so far. I, I really like the artwork. But it to me, this particular one does not go with the hanged man. So it doesn't necessarily go with the um, what it's saying it is. But it doesn't mean you can't use it. Death. That one has a death feel to it. Temperance. The devil. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> that is interesting. I think 
11, I'm going to go back to this card here. I think 11 is usually the justice card. It says here fortitude. The forti but there is a justice card, isn't there? Number 8. They, you know what? I believe in some decks they they change those. Because I believe in some decks um, justice is... 11, which I believe that's the what they do in the right away deck and a lot of the other ones. And in some, they invert uh, justice with, I'm guessing, I think it's the hermit. Hermit is usually eight. So I'm guessing that's probably the hermit, although it says fortitude. So it doesn't look like a hermit to me, but what it doesn't matter if the tower or this one's called the Burning Tower, which that one looks exactly like it should. Of the star. I like this one. It looks like, is that a gar Gorgon? Not a Gorgon. Oh my goodness. Not a Phoenix. One of the schools around here has this as a mascot. And for the life of me, I can't remember the name right now. The Moon. I like this moon card. It's kind of like the moon with the wheel. The sun. Judgment. Another Pope. Well, back in the day, the church really was the ultimate um, authority. So, and this is the completed world, which it's a... Um, chalice like the holy grail looks like almost to me let's see what we got here all right also i do believe that the the what are they called now oh my god i can't speak and i can't think clearly um the suits are different let me see i kind of remember the suits being different Hold on. Okay. So the suits are the stars, the suns. They have like a metal that's attached to them. The moons and the spheres. Okay. So Let's see, the stars would probably be the stars. Oh, Ace, the stars are the swords. Oh, there goes my dog. The suns is wands. The moons is cups, which makes sense with that one for sure. And the spheres would be pentacles. So, this one here would be moons one of moons so the cups so the moons first of moons so this one's going to take a teeny bit longer to do only because the suits are different and i'm trying to give you guys the um correct meaning well not meaning the correct words for for them so it might throw me off a little bit which doesn't take much believe you me okay so this is the two of sword, no, two of cups, two of cups, two of cups, which is the two of moons, three of three of moons, four of moons. As you can see, this doesn't look anything like the traditional four of cups. It just doesn't. So, as I said, this might be just a deck that I keep in my um, collection, not necessarily use. I'll play with it a little bit and see how it um, comes out. But it might, for me, it might just be too confusing, honestly. Um, five of Cups. Um, which would be Five of Moons. See, I'm already getting confused. Six of Cups. Six of Moons. Which I, this would be almost better off to use almost as an Oracle deck. 
I think, in, in my humble opinion. Seven of Moons. I believe this is Moons. I believe this is Moons. Eight of Moons. Nine of Moons. Ten of Moons. Now I'm going to check just real quick to make sure I'm doing it. Um, seeing the right ones just in case. Oh, stars. Okay, that's stars. Suns. Yeah, that is moons. Okay. And spheres. Okay, that is moons. Just want to make sure. I, you know, I do make mistakes in these videos sometimes, and I would rather uh, fix it while I'm doing it. So this would be generally the page, but it's the neophyte. the initiate so it goes by levels of like neophyte is brand new at something the initiate is coming into it and knows some but they're still waiting to be initiated um the prophetess which would be the queen of cups but it's not going to be not in not in this deck it just to me it doesn't follow it's very different and the master which that looks like, okay, that's the Pope. And these look like, hmm, it's hard to tell if they're dogs or lambs. I don't know, can you tell what it is? It's, maybe if I bring it up close on the camera, I can see it better because my eyes can only do so much. Looks like dogs. All right, so the next ones, I'm gonna, okay, this is the Suns. So, uh, is this Suns? No, which one is this one? Discs. Okay, hold on a second. Not discs. Let's see. Stars. Suns. That's not suns. Moons. Uh, spheres. So this was the spheres is supposed to be traditionally the uh, pentacles. So one of pentacles or one of spheres. Two of pentacles. More spheres and three of spheres. Hold on a second. <clears throat> Grab the other one here. As far as I know, it's coming. Hmm. This one is night. Okay. Let's see if it comes. So is this is this three? Yeah, three. So this is four. Of spheres five of spheres five hmm. this to me would look more like five of wands or five of swords especially five of wands but no they chose to use that um, six of spheres Seven of Spheres, Eight of Spheres, Nine of Spheres, Ten of Spheres, Eleven of Spheres, The Apprentice, Twelve of Spheres, the astrologer. Let's fix that. Uh, the astronomer, which would be 13 of spheres. 14 of spheres is the alchemist. Okay. Now, this one is the suns, I believe. Nope, the stars. And the stars is, oh, what the heck did we say the stars was now? Oh my gosh, I can't remember. Do, 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 do. The stars, let's see. 
um, swords. The stars is the swords. All right, let's see. One of stars. Maybe if I had looked at it, <laughs> I would have seen it with swords. That one makes sense. Two of swords, two of stars. Three of swords or three of stars. Four of stars. Five of stars. Six of stars. That one's really pretty. I like that a lot. And it does have some astrology sign. This one has an astrology sign. Do they all? Oh, looks like they all actually do, and I didn't notice. Um, hold on. Let me see. Not all of them. Some of them. Some of them have astrology signs. That's. Uh, I don't know what that is. I know it's an astrology sign, but I can't remember. Can't remember. Oh my goodness, I'm tired today, you guys. We're putting in, finally got our counter put in, so they, they when they put in the counter, they made a huge mess with dust from cutting some of the stone. Oh my goodness, I've been vacuuming and cleaning, and I don't have a sink yet, so at least it's not hooked up yet, so I couldn't do a ton. Um, seven, seven of stars, eight of stars, so eight of swords. <sighs> I don't see, I don't see this, I just don't see this, how it relates to the original um, right away, except maybe in two or three cards so far. Nine of swords, let's see what they do for the ten, or nine of stars, ten of swords, or ten of stars. No, I don't really see it. I don't really see it. Okay, let's see. Now we're going to go to, okay, the postulant. The cardinal, which would be the 12th. This one was the 11th. This is the 12th. would typically be the knight, but there's no knights, which is shocking because you would think they'd have knights but maybe they didn't do it back then. I don't really know the entire history of tarot, so I don't know how they they did it. Okay. The Abbess, which is a 13 of uh, stars. And the Pope, which is the 14. Alrighty. Now this one has to be the Suns, which is Wands. Okay, so first of sons, second of sons. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> ah, that's funny. His face, he's like, huh. He's making a, I'm not sure, face. Okay, three of sons which is the Three of Wands. Four of Sons. Five of Sons. Six of Sons. Seven of Sons. Eight of Sons. They're not stuck, but they're just kind of like a little rough on, not this side. This side is nice and smooth. This side's a teeny bit rough, even though you can see the shine. It's almost like they get a little stuck there. Um, nine. This was eight, right? Yeah, eight, nine of Sons. Ten of Sons, which would be the Ten of Wands. The 
11, 11 of Suns, the page. Well, we finally got a page in there. A knight, <laughs> finally. Uh, the Knight of Wands or the Knight of Suns. The Lady, which would be the Queen, number 13. And number 14 is the Prince. So we do not have a King, we have a Prince. Okay, so let me pick these up here. So that's a thick deck. It's definitely thinner than my right of weight. My right of weight would be about maybe that thick. So these have another almost half to them. They're thick. They're good quality cards. The cardstock is nice. It's it's not really uh what do you it's hard. it's not um Uh, it's it, it the coating on it is is kind of off it's this right here feels rough so then it, it I'm, I'm lost for words right now which is not unusual the um, it's this one right here is, is nice and shiny and smooth this one right here is kind of rough okay but I just had that same issue with the other cards I was doing it was the back that was smooth and the front that's rough like this one so it's not um, consistent as far as the coating goes on it but that doesn't really matter once you just shuffle them up a few times like I said with this deck I honestly don't think I'll be using this deck much for reading unless I maybe use it as an Oracle uh, deck and would be for, for very 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 specific reasons because it just to me it doesn't seem like I would be able to read that well with it I do find it an intriguing deck I want to read the book and see what ha is um, written in there about it and about the artwork and about Nostradamus because you know hey he was a cool guy and um, I saw his life story once I think it was on a learning channel discovery channel one of those where he lost his wife and, and child during the plague and all that stuff. And he he was a healer uh, as well. He healed a lot of people, but unfortunately lost his family during that time. So um, he's an interesting, a very interesting person. And I honestly, I just kind of want the artwork because I find him intriguing. And I find the artwork that's done, supposedly done by him, intriguing as well. So, they will they shuffle well? Yeah, they'll shuffle fine. I mean, I think they'll shuffle very easily. I have, They fit my hands well. And like I said, the coating is not consistent. In some areas, this side is rough and this side is smooth. And, other, and it's the opposite, but that doesn't... To me, that's not a uh, deal breaker, that's for sure. So, um, thank you for spending time with me. I'm sorry I went on a little bit longer with this video. I don't usually make them go this long, but this one is just so different that it kind of was throwing me off. So anyway, thank you so much. I hope you have a great day and uh, blessings and um, take care.